help you design deviated wells as well. Uh, the way you do that is you run Xroid in AI mode as if the well is vertical. Then you save your best design uh, in Rodstar V format. Then you load the file into Rodstar D and you add the deviation survey. And then you proceed to finalize your system design with appropriate modifications to your design. Um, so the conclusions is that in the AI mode, uh, which is used by, by XROD, you can actually get excellent designs in a, in a few seconds. Like, and it's uh, 10 to 50 times faster than with Rodstar V. Uh, you can run the program in AI mode, or you can enter your own design and run it in non-AI mode. Uh, or you can take a, a recommended design and modify it. Uh, and also, XROD can be used to start a new system design for deviated wells. Now, let's talk about the diagnostic software that we have. Let's start with XDiag, which is an expert diagnostic computer program that allows you to take a measured dynamometer card and get a complete analysis about your an existing rod pumping system. The, the XDiag program uses the wave equation and pump, pump unit kinematic calculations just like Rodstar, but it uh, it is for existing wells. So you have to measure a dynamometer card with a standalone dynamometer system or a pump of controller, put the data into XDiag, and it will calculate the downhole pump condition for you. It will actually calculate the downhole pump car shape, and it will interpret the shape to tell you what, what is going on at the pump. It calculates fluid level, pump intake pressure, and additional production if you have IPR data. It warns you of possible uh, input data errors. And also, this is the program we use in our XPark automation software for daily expert analysis on a number of wells. Uh, what's unique about XDiag is that, you know, it, it can actually detect and correct a number of errors that would otherwise result in bad results, such as uh, if the load cell is reading too high or too low, if uh, you have a problem with the POC data, such as a phase shift between the load and position data, or if you have position transducer errors, the program can actually detect and correct a lot of these errors. It can correct incorrect pumping speed. It will warn you about incorrect fluid specific gravity. It can correct out of order dynamometer data. And also it will warn you about the possibility of having the wrong plunger size or incorrect production data. You know, the conventional way of analyzing wells uh, is very time consuming. If somebody has to go out there and take a dynamometer